Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're diving into the exciting world of game development in Unity. In this tutorial we'll be learning how to use a fantastic tool called the Tileable 3D Terrain Generator to quickly and easily create 3D terrains for your game project. Throughout this video, you will learn how to install and set up the Tileable 3D Terrain Generator in your Unity project. You'll explore the core functionality of the tool, including how to generate terrain using the included terrain or use your own prefabs. Additionally, you'll discover how to use the randomization feature, how to extend your terrain, replace existing terrain tiles with different prefabs, and much more. First things first, make sure you have Unity version 2021.3 or later installed. Let's create a new Unity project by clicking on New Project. You can either choose the standard built-in render pipeline, or Universal 3D which is the Universal Render Pipeline, or URP. For this tutorial we'll be using the Universal Render Pipeline, or URP, since many of you will encounter a flat pink material issue when importing assets. I will show you how to fix it, with just a few clicks, using our URP setup tool. Now, let's give our project a name, and we'll give it something like, Low Poly Terrain. And click on Create Project. Now, let's import the asset by going to Window and Package Manager. Here we need to switch it to My Asset and search the asset here. You'll need to download the Tileable 3D Terrain Generator package and import it into your project. Since I already have it, I'll import it from my PC. Once that's done, go to the folder Tileable 3D Terrain Generator, and then, Scene Folder, and let's open this sample scene. As you can see we have flat pink material issue, this happened because our material shader were not yet compatible with URP. But don't worry, I will show you how to fix it, with just a few clicks, using our URP Setup tool. Now, go to URP Setup folder, and double click on URP Install. Click All and then Import. After you click on Reload, your material issue should be solved. Let's try to play this sample scene to see if it's working. This demo scene along with all the low-poly assets you see here, were included in this asset pack. Now let's create a new scene and start generating from scratch. Right click here, go to create, and then scene. Let's give a name to our scene and we'll call it test scene. Once that's done, let us open the terrain generator window by going to window in the unity menu, then find and click on tileable 3D terrain generator. This will open the tool window. Let's get familiar with the interface and begin generating terrain. First, we need to add the terrain tile prefabs we want to use. Under Add Terrain Prefab, click the Add button to create a prefab slot. You can add multiple prefabs as many as you need. Now, let's go to our prefab folder, and we can use this available prefab that we already have. Remember you can also use your own prefab. Just make sure your terrain prefab is square. That means the width and the length of your terrain prefab are equal. Then simply drag and drop your terrain prefab from your prefab folder into the empty prefab slots. Next, we'll set the parameters for our terrain, the width and the length. Here the width is how many tiles you'll have along the x-axis, and the length is how many tiles along the z-axis. You can think of these as the rows and columns of your terrain. So let's start with 20 tiles for both. Next, we have the tile size. 
Here the tile size is the size of each square tile in meters. For example, here we have our terrain tile, which is square, with both width and length equal to 60 meters in unity. If you are not sure about what size you should use, you can simply select a terrain prefab in your prefab folder. For example, I select this prefab from my prefab folder and then move my mouse cursor to the tools. It shows me this prefab has a tile size of approximate 7 meter. And this one has a tile size of 6m. And our terrain tile was automatically calculated by this tool to be 60 meters as shown here. This tool ensures your tile sizes are correct and fit together nicely. So let us enter tile size equals to 60 and click Generate Terrain. Let's see how we can make our terrain more interesting. One of the features of this tool is the randomization. If you select two or more tiles in the scene and click Randomize Selected Terrain, the tiles will shuffle. This can make the terrain look more natural. We can also delete any selected terrain, or undo or redo our progress. Another feature of this tool is the ability to expand or extend the terrain. First, select any terrain from your scene to mark it as the starting point for extending your terrain. Next, add prefabs by clicking on Add Terrain Prefab to expand, and drop your terrain prefab to this section, just like before. Here I have selecting this terrain as my starting position, from where my terrain will extend. You can also see it in this tool that says, the expansion will begin from this terrain. Then, choose the direction to extend your terrain. Let's choose the positive z-axis direction. Set the number of tiles you want your terrain to extend. For example, we will set it to 5 tiles. Click on expand terrain to extend it. As you can see here, our terrain was extended by 5 tiles along this direction of positive z-axis. You can expand your terrain in 8 directions, which gives you maximum flexibility. For example, you can choose from different directions available on this tool. The positive z-axis. The positive x-axis. The negative x-axis. The negative z-axis. We also have diagonal directions such as the positive z-x direction the negative xz direction, and so on. Let's go back to our scene and extend our terrain. Another cool feature is the ability to replace existing terrain tiles with new prefabs. This can be really useful for adding details to your terrain, such as adding roads or paths to your terrain. Select the tiles you want to change from your scene and click Assign Selected. This will assign the selected terrain to your tool. Next choose the new prefab you want to replace it with from your prefab folder. For example, let me choose this path prefab from my folder and click the Replace Terrain button to swap the tiles. As you can see, this can be really useful for adding terrain such as roads or paths, or if you wanted to replace any terrain with a new one. I would also like to use a T-Path intersection to extend the road in another direction. I'll assign the selected terrain and then click Replace Terrain. Finally, you can rotate your terrain tiles by selecting them and clicking Rotate Clockwise or Rotate Anticlockwise. Each click will rotate them 90 degrees around their center. This is great for getting those precise alignments you need. I would also like to use the Corner Path Prefab to turn the road in a different direction. If you ever encounter an error that says, Destroying a game object inside a prefab is not allowed. As you can see this selected terrain was highlighted in orange color. This happened because I accidentally selected the child of this terrain prefab. You can see it here.
To solve this, you just need to deselect your terrain and then select it back again. And make sure that you selected the parent of the terrain object, not the child of the terrain. I'll just speed up the video while I create the path. Next, let's improve the graphic and the overall lighting of our scene. I'll copy some of the stuff from our demo scene. Let's copy the global volume, directional light, and the main camera. And paste it into our scene. We'll delete the old one, since we don't need them. And let's adjust the intensity of our directional light. Next, let's change our skybox material with the one included in this asset pack. This looked too bright. Let's adjust our intensity. Let's change the source to using color. Let's adjust our intensity again. You can always adjust the settings until you achieve the lighting you want. Next, let's make our scene more interesting by decorating it with some items from our prefab folder. Let us also copy some of the pre-made modular building from our demo scene. Let's add some wall from our prefab. Here, we can also use the tool to extend this wall, like we did for our terrain previously. First we need to check what is the tile size of this wall. As we can see here, that this wall has a tile size of 41 meters, so let's enter that. Let's select our direction to negative z-axis, since we want it along this direction. And then add our wall prefab to the expand prefab slot and click expand. We can also adjust or customize the look of our water by selecting it and tweaking the water shader parameters to your liking.
Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Remember, the best way to learn is by experimenting, so go ahead and create some amazing terrains for your game. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tutorials.